What's up guys, it's Lauren and it is currently 8 o'clock in the morning. Yay. I haven't done an everyday makeup tutorial in a while. It's time for an update. So, with that being said, my skin is not the best right now. I don't know why. I have two mountains on my chin. Oh, my dad just texted me. Oh, it is hot under this light. I'm already getting sidetracked the video has just started. I guess I'll just jump right into it, right? Yeah, why not? Step number one would be to moisturize. And I just got this moisturizer because Brooke recommended it to me. And it's Fuego. Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer. I don't even know if I did anything, but if it did, that's cool. So it comes with this... <laughs> with this mini spatula it's so cute and i just love to it's my favorite part of the day is when i get to use my mini spatula i mostly put it on my cheeks because i am trying to dry out the pimples on my face not give them more ammunition i just dropped the lid people watching this video are probably like oh my god she's a catfish that's true <laughs> And that's that. <laughs> Next step is my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Priming. I don't even know what it's called actually. Pro Filter Filter with an apostrophe R because we're on that different type of spelling type. <laughs> Instant Retouch Primer. That much. I like this stuff because it's it's blurring, but it's still not like super matte, so your face doesn't feel like <clears throat> you know mostly keep that on my forehead, on my chin, and on my, like, T-zone. You guys are probably already noticing that my face is a different shape from my body. Like I said in the previous video I posted, um, I get spray tans. Exposed myself. I'm naturally translucent, so sometimes I have to bring the life back into my body. Bring the soul back into my body. Oh, my weep is itchy. So now that we've tapped that into our skin, it's time for foundation. Pretty sure that my foundation is never the right shade. So Brooke put me on to the Estee Lauder. ASMR. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. That's what it's called. I get a light shade and a dark shade because I'm always a different color than my body. Here's the tea. <laughs> When I went to Coachella, Brooke gave me this foundation and the first day that I tried it, I got that like really horrible allergic reaction. If you guys haven't seen that, it looked it was on my Instagram, it looks like this. I thought that this could possibly be the problem. So I was really scared to try it again, but Brooke was like, it's such a good foundation, you have to try it again. And so I did. Turns out it wasn't the reason for my allergic reaction. I still don't know what caused it to this day. There we go. Ugh. Okay, I dripped it all over the place. Then I take my beauty blender, which I just washed for this video, and it's all nice and clean. I wash it anyways, but not all the time. There's no special science to it. I just put it on. Y'all can see the craters on my chin. I don't know if you can. They just decided to pop out one morning, and they've been there for like two days, and it's really French drainy. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, my nose is itchy. My nose always gets itchy. I'm not picking my nose, that's gross. I break out a lot along my hairline because my hair gets really oily and when my hair gets oily and it goes on my forehead, then it's just a downward spiral. Today's the 4th of July also and I have no plans because I have no friends. So now we're gonna conceal and I mix this one by NARS in the shade Canel. I think, I'm probably saying that wrong. They always have such fancy names. And I put that under my eyes and in a triangle shape. And I put it on my craters and then I put it basically everywhere else. Uh oh, chin up princess, your hair clips are falling. <laughs> and then I put it on my nose because it always slips on my nose and then I just put more on. It's just stressful so I just put it on. Then <laughs> we go in with Chant Lily, which is a lighter one, but I just put it on top of that a little bit and in the middle right here Makeup with me is not a very delicate process. I just kind of Do it. I do what feels right in my deepest soul. So we're trying to cover up our moon rocks on our face This has probably been next to my bed for like the past four days 
off topic, but I bought a grow a boyfriend before my camera rudely interrupted me and died. I was talking about my grow a boyfriend and he's been in the sink for the past four days and he's grown really big. He's thick and and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now that it's like here. But anyways, that's not makeup. Now we're gonna set our faces. Lydia's in the back, back there. Holla at your girl. Hey, you. <laughs> you're. <sighs> so I use this for highlight and powder because I'm a multi-purpose <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get some of that powder and put it under my eye. My face is so dry. It's okay. Now I go back in with my beauty blender after I've powdered and I just tap it in. Next step for powders. I don't know where it went. So then I go in with the, the Dragon Beauty setting powders and I use this pinkier one right here and I just go over my um, under eyes, my forehead, and my chin. It's just so beautiful. Now I'm going to moisturize my lips. They're a little bit crusty, musty, and dusty. This is the Fresh Sugar Lip Serum Advanced Therapy with Acamella, Asmella, Acamella, <laughs> Asmella. Can you laugh at my jokes if you're gonna be in here? I really wasn't listening. I'm so sorry. I'm reading a magazine. <laughs> I like guess this is live entertainment and you're just not giving me the time of day. Next step is eyebrows. And I wait to do my bronzer and highlight and blush and all that kind of stuff because I don't know, I just like to do it last. So I'm just brushing my eyebrows up and as y'all know, cause I've said it a million times before, I don't have a lot of eyebrows. I never have and I probably never will because when I get old, they're just gonna disappear off my face. Anyways, this tastes bad. What is it? The lip serum? I don't know a little bit chemically. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. I go under. My eyebrows are a little bit sparse and I have to tint them because they're blonde. Sorry, eyebrows take a lot of concentration. Now I'm going along the top. I just fill it in. Just take little strokes upward. That's what she said. That is not what she said. That made no sense. I feel like that's good. Then we're gonna do the other side. And I'm not too careful when I fill my eyebrows, if I'm honest, because a lot of my brows happen um, by using brow gel. I'm happy with it. I'm just going to start with my brow gel. And this one's pretty much empty at this point, but I still use it anyways because it kind of works. I should probably invest in a new one. And then I take a clear brow gel, which is also from Benefit. And I feel like this is the most important part for my eyebrows at least because I like to stick them up. This stuff is like glue for your eyebrows. <laughs> Sometimes when I put it on too much, I can't move my eyebrows because it will stick them down like you've never stuck your eyebrows down before. Oh yeah, baby. Eyebrows on tweak. What is the next step? Eyeshadow. I use this palette. It's the Tarte Lip Bloom palette, and it has all your neutral color needs. It has some pinks right here. I think that's pink. No, that's brown. If I want to do like a rose gold type thing, I have the this pink one, but that's not what I'm doing today. Oh no. I'm just going to use this nude color right here, and I just put that into my crease. It looks like it'd be really light. It shows up. I don't do much else for eyeshadow on a daily basis. And let me do the other side. Now we're gonna do eyeliner. This part is the most important to me because my eyeliner is, it completes my heart. I start in the middle. So I start in the middle of my eye and I draw a line out and then I kind of take it from the outer corner of my eye towards my eyebrow. Sorry, this is a very careful process. Sorry, my mom's being loud. I had to close the door. And then I just connect it from the inner corner to the middle. So it's not too difficult. I'm lucky because I have a lot of eyelid space to work with. Some people have hooded eyes or 
eyes that are shaped differently. It's a little bit more difficult, but I have a lot of space on my eyelids. So I can make my eyeliner pretty thick and get away with it. My eyeliner is drying out as I'm trying to film this video. What's new? I'm gonna go do the other side off camera, but it's gonna be the same as this. Nothing's changing. I'll be back. Okay, both sides are done. I'm just going to take the pencil side of this eyeliner. Hi! I'm going to tight line. And basically what this does is helps to blend your eyelashes in with the falsies that we're gonna put on later. Really simple. We have two options for lashes. I use either Lily Lashes if I'm going for like a more glam look, or I have my Ardell Wispies, which are a bit more natural. I wouldn't say that they're natural, but they're a bit less intense. I think today I'm gonna use the more natural ones because this is an everyday makeup look. I will use eyelashes until they're literally falling apart because I don't like to buy new ones. So I'm just gonna pull, I'm gonna pull the yesterday's glue off. This is what they look like. Oh, the eyeliner I used. The eyeliner I used was from Tarte. It's the Tardist eyeliner. I like to put on my mascara before I do my lashes. This is the Marc Jacobs mascara. I just started using this because Brooke recommended it to me. We went shopping together and she was like, oh my God, get this and get this and get this. And I ended up spending way too much money at Sephora. This wand is kind of thick, which is kind of bothersome but it gets the job done and it's a pretty good mascara. So now I use the Duo Black Eyelash Glue and I don't know where it went. You don't need a lot. And while we wait for our eyelash glue to dry a little bit and get tacky so that it sticks to our eyelid better, I'm going to do my contour, blush, and highlight. I didn't used to use blush, but I'm a changed woman. Oh. I forgot to use this. Usually I use this when my foundation is still wet before I powder. It's just like a contour under the powder contour, but I didn't use it today, so. Saws, I forgot. Now we're gonna bronze. So I use the Hoola bronzer and I have a little <laughs> Morphe E48 brush. I just take it in circular motions. And I've been trying to improve my makeup technique because I've been watching a lot of tutorials, which is how I learned how to do makeup in the first place. I started doing makeup when I was 12 or 13. Oh, I have a black dot on my face. I'm so blonde and I didn't have any eyebrows or any eyelashes. I started watching makeup tutorials and I fell in love with makeup and I love makeup so much. And I spend way too much money on it. <laughs> now that the contour is here, I put it here, I put it kind of on the sides of my face like this and it just shadows your face and makes it look a little bit slimmer. And then I take a smaller brush like this one and this is the M456. Just take a little bit of that bronzer and I put it on either side of my nose. I don't do too much nose contouring. I do it more to kind of make all the bronziness on my face come together because I don't want to not bronze the center of my face, if that makes sense. Um, I don't even know where I'm at in this video anymore, to be honest with you. I'm going to do blush. I use this broken as Tarte blush. That's okay. I use it with a Morphe M405 brush. I love blush. I didn't used to, but I've come to love blush, so I just put a lot on. I've been up since like 6 o'clock this morning. It's now 10 and the tiredness is now hitting me right in the face. I'm feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Highlighter. This is Fenty Beauty. It's the kilowatt. I like to use this side, but I kind of just mix them together like this. I just put it right here. I just take my finger for my nose highlight and I just go right on the tip and I drag it up a little bit. I also put the same highlighter on the inner corner of the eye. This just opens your eyes and brightens them a little bit. That's what the internet told me anyways. Now we're gonna put on our eyelashes before they dry. So I start on the outer edge to apply the lashes 
and I line it up with the outer corner of my eye. And from there, I just bring it in. Oh my God, I did it. So I just do that backwards? I totally did. That wasn't the right eye. <sighs> okay, this time I'm gonna put the right eyelash on. Outer corner and finessed. Last step would be lips. I've been using these two lip products because I ran out of my other lipstick that I've been using for the past couple of years. This is the Sugar Rush Sugar Coat. It's matte, but it's creamy, so it won't uh, dry out your lips. Forgot bottom mascara. For the bottom mascara, I'm not gonna use the Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes because it's a bit thinner of a brush and it's not as intense. Okay. And then I just finish it off with gloss because I love having glossy lashes beautiful lips. And this is from the same line. It's also from Sugar Rush and this is called Couple Goals. And they sent me a bunch of these like dual ended glosses and it comes with kind of like a glittery one and a not glittery one. They smell really good. I'm not gonna lie. It smells really good. I'm done. Oh, no I'm not. I just got this setting spray. It's the Anastasia Dewy Set setting spray. And I think it's pretty good. And then I take my beauty blender and I go over my face one more time. Not bad. Okay guys, I guess that wraps up my everyday makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys wanna see more makeup videos, let me know down below because I love filming them. I can do some different looks. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining and I will see you next week. Bye.